Hello, this is Jay Black with Tekken 2. In this video, we're going to go over the design phase of the in-lab model software. After we've cleaned our model, we're going to click on design at the top. We have a few options here. We can create dies, create gingival mask, and add supports. First, we'll go over creating dies. We'll click create dies right over here on the right. Okay, in the in-lab software, we, we went ahead and marked our margin already, and I recommend to do that if you can. If not, we can go ahead and mark it now. We have a few options in creating dies. The first is to have a solid model with a ditched die. So what you'll do there is you'll uncheck the Create Dies box at the top. Let it know how much you want to ditch below the margin and click Apply. All right, so now we have a solid model with a ditched margin. All right, our second option is to have a removable die. So when we click on Create Dies, we'll check the box up here at the top. This is Create Dies. And what we're going to do is create a removable die. And you can choose to have a floor crater, which is going to be down at the bottom, so you can pop out your die. A control window, which is going to be right here so that we can see that our die is down all the way and create ditch, which like we said before, creates a ditch below the margin. And you have spacer right here. And that is the amount of space in between the die and the model. All printers are different. So I start off with 0 0.03 and you can, if you need it to be a little bit looser, you can adjust it right here. All right, we'll go ahead and hit apply. All right, so now we have our removable die right here. Here you can see the control window and you'll be able to tell if it's down all the way. Down here at the bottom you have your floor crater so you can pop out your die at any time. If I turn off the upper jaw you can see what the die will look like. Alright, thanks for joining Tekken 2. In the next video we're going to go over how to create our analog in our model.